Healthcare is so much more than just the medicine itself. There is true compassion throughout the Archibald system. I think it's shown through everyone. We showed up at the hospital in our pink t-shirts that we had made that were for Champions Cheerleaders. Dr. Patterson met us in the lobby and of course he wanted to know where his pink t-shirt was. When Mama came for her first follow-up visit and she was nervous and she you know, didn't know what he was gonna say, when he walked in the room he had on green scrub pants and a pink Champions Cheerleader t-shirt. That just meant a lot to Mama that not only had he worn a shirt to show his support for his patient, he knew enough to pay attention to the schedule that she was coming that day. There, there's, um, there's probably not a better doctor in Thomasville to us than him. We just thank the world of him. This family was coming back from Valdosta in February from drag races. Uh, they had an accident in Boston, uh, Georgia, and were all brought to our hospital. The mom didn't know where she was because she was in a coma. The 15-year-old the, um, didn't know where she was because she was still going through the trauma that she had had to her head. And they held the funeral of the the sister, the six-year-old little girl that was killed and the dad of the family that was killed. Our ICU nurses, Archbold ICU nurses, took those beds and ICU and all the equipment they're attached to and put them in the same room together. Well, that, excuse me. While they were having that funeral, the family found out about it and just what praise they gave. As a matter of fact, one of the sisters sent me an email telling me how much she appreciated those nurses even thinking about something like that and how important it was for family to be together at a time like that. And as a matter of fact, they showed me a picture of the beds in the room together with all the stuff and I'm thinking, it took hours to do that. But it was what they do. He had come in, uh, he was an older gentleman, um, was not a patient of Dr. Kiris's, was not one of his personal friends. He was just an average, regular patient and had had a bad heart attack and was having a bad outcome. And no matter what we did, it was obvious this gentleman was not gonna survive the night. And Dr. Kiris was there and sat by this man's bedside the entire night until he passed. A car ran a red light at about 80 miles per hour and hit me. Um, I was ejected through the passenger window, laying face down um, in the middle of the street. I did it without even thinking, just put my car in reverse and just ran to help her. And she pulled out and come out there and basically was my guardian angel. Apparently I had a bad head injury, was trying to get up or go to sleep or whatever and she was there the whole time. And I had actually seen her around the hospital. I just, I, I couldn't even recognize her at the accident. I'll be forever grateful to her. And so will my children. <laughs> so we put him in a, a wheelchair, um, took him outside with the wife one day and just let him sit in the sunshine, you know, in the little uh, roses area over there by the ER. And, and smelled a rose for the last time, literally and gave one to the wife, you know, and took a picture for her on her cell phone that she asked for uh, so that she could have that last memory. And you think, well, gosh, that may not be what they want to remember, you know, their loved one being sick and their last picture. But when you lose a loved one, you want every picture and every memory that you could possibly have of them because that's them and you love them regardless whether they're sick or not. So they want those pictures. We become very invested, not only in our patients, but in the families of our patients. And so one of our patients, um, her niece came to visit 
and she um, told me that when she grew up that she wanted to work um, at Archibald at the hospital. We had an interview and she had many good qualities. She uh, was a team player. She was very friendly um, and very excited and very committed. And so I made Harmony a schedule and uh, she is scheduled to come work when she graduates from medical school. <laughs> I had Dr. Jeff Deutsch as my surgeon, I had Dr. Brian Gapp as my oncologist, and I had Dr. Steven Johnson as my radiation oncologist. And I feel like the three of them were an awesome team. Robin Wilson is a midwife here at Archibald, and she knits little booties as gifts to um, all of the patients, the babies that she delivers. You know, Dr. Crenshaw will always rub the little old ladies on the head, kiss them on the floor. You should see them light up when he walks in. Dr. Santos went out of his way to make sure that this man had clothes and support. I mean, he bought him a new wardrobe to leave the hospital with so that he could start his life anew. We have amazing people. We have fun and we are there to support one another, to love each other, to encourage each other, to pray for each other. And they're always willing to assist that person that needs our help. I see it all the time. And I think that's what sets Archibald apart. We work as one because we all have a common goal, the best and the safest care for that patient. I think when we do that, we represent Archibald well. When we do that, we become ambassadors. The theme carries throughout. You started in Thomasville, now you're in Camilla, but they know they're gonna get that quality care because it is Archibald. Archibald does an excellent job with, with the hiring of its employees, um, not only with their knowledge base, but to make sure that their heart's in the right place. When they come in, you know that they're there just for you. And they tell us, you know, this feels like home. You treat us like family. And it's like sometimes that God sent an angel <laughs> to your house, you know, to visit you. We care about all our patients. We treasure all of them. We, you get to know their families, you get to know their children, you get to know their dogs' names. Whoever you come in contact with, whether it's actually a healthcare employee or some, you know, a volunteer, you're, you're gonna get you know, the same love and support anywhere you go. I mean, walking down the hallway, everyone is so friendly, so happy. It, you know, they all, it, everyone just shows that they care, you know, all the way around. It's all you want when your family's sick. You're somebody. Um, you're somebody important. You're somebody's somebody. I don't know of any other hospital. In my mind, Archibald is the only hospital. <laughs> it's the way that Archibald does things. It's the people that they hire to do the jobs, that they hire compassionate people, they hire people who love people, and that's the reason why I'm proud to work here, my mom was proud to work here, and we were proud for her to be a patient here. I've noticed that through, you know, care techs to physicians, to the case workers, the pharmacists, we love our patients, and I feel like that really sets us apart. I'm so glad that we have a nurse like Amy Brogan in the ICU to offer such sympathetic attitude. She makes families feel at ease when faced with hard choices. Amy is a great role model with a good heart. I am lucky to get to work alongside such a wonderful nurse. Amy, you consistently make a difference in patients' lives. Thank you. Philip was such a blessing to our family that night. He was a great caretaker and friend to my grandmother. Thank you, Philip, for choosing the field of nursing and showing us what true compassion is. I still remember her. Mm -hmm. I feel so grateful that people like Chiquita work for Archibald. She is truly an angel. So thank you, Chiquita, for all you do. I could never thank you enough. My God. Oh, my God.